3.11 is estimating a derivative from a graph. Number one says the graph of the function f is shown below. If m is the slope of the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals negative eight, which statement best describes the value of m? So you're gonna find where x is negative eight, which is right here. We're not worried about the y value there. We're worried about what does the tangent line look like? So remember a tangent line would be zooming in and picking another point really close to it and trying to just make a line that just touches there at that point. So there's our tangent line. So what I know about this line is it's definitely not a slope of zero because that would be a horizontal line. It's not less than zero because that would mean that it has a negative slope. Uh, there definitely is a tangent line. It would be that my slope is positive because I can see here that my line is increasing. Undefined would be a vertical line. So it's that simple, just choosing it. Number two, same thing, we've got a function. Look at how this notation is written, f prime of x. That is a way to say the derivative or the slope at six. So you would find where x is six, find the point, you can see how this curve flattens out momentarily and then goes up. So that tangent line would actually be horizontal. So you wanna pick where the slope or f prime of six is zero. And then the last one's a little harder because we have kind of some more inequalities we're gonna have to choose from. It says, which describes the value best of f prime of negative three? So the slope at negative three, find that. So we're looking at a line that looks like this. So is the slope zero? No. Is it positive slope? No. Or greater than one? No. Is it less than negative one? Possibly because I know it is negative slope. So I'm gonna save that one. Is the slope between zero and one. So is it between zero and one? Mm, no, because again, it's negative, so it's not that one. Is it between negative one and zero? Possibly because it is negative, does it not exist? Not true. So it's between these two. Well, let's think about this. If I have this line here and I have a slope of uh, negative one. Think about any slope of negative one goes down a box, right a box. So it makes like a 45 degree angle here. It cuts through it. So that would be a slope of negative one. It looks steeper than that here. So at this line, it's pretty steep where it's going like down and to the right, probably more than down one. So it's bigger than one over to the right. And so it would actually be less than negative one. It's kind of hard to explain without guessing, but these slopes would be of like a negative a half. So that'd be like down one, right two. See how that gets more gradual or down one, right three, even more gradual. So you're kind of looking how steep the line is. If it's steeper than going through a corner to corner of a box, then that's gonna be uh, less than negative one slope.